oh, I've just spent an hour trying to tell you how to make a oh, how to use the grid and it fails every time because I either get angry or distracted or whatever um, I'm going to make this tutorial really quick please align your maps to a grid it's, if, if you've been making maps for a while you'll probably be already doing this if not it's really important to do the grid is there for a reason you can make the grid larger or smaller by pressing these buttons at the top or by pressing the buttons next to P on your keyboard which look like square brackets mainly because they are and it changes how thick the grid is and when you make a map it will align to that it's really important to do uh, for instance here's one that you this here's one that's done properly here's a corridor going along here another corridor going along there and there's another one look it's all aligned properly here's a messy one if I press uh, shift and W it disables the grid if you press it again it'll enable it again I sometimes accidentally press it when trying to save but here's a messy example of how not to do a level there although they look roughly the same this one's much messier everything's overlapping and when you try and make a wall there'll be a gap there and you'll have to make another little bit of wall there and just just do it the nice way and it's much easier all the textures on Half-Life 2 and Counter-Strike and whatever align to a align to the grid if I type in wall, all these wall textures are 128 by 128. There are a couple of exceptions with the rock and concrete textures, but for most textures it's 128 by 128. Go by that rule and you'll be okay. For instance, here's a wall that's 128 high. And it aligns properly. As you can see, it looks neat. Nice and tidy. And it that the same thing applies to crates if I type in crate here comes a crate texture most of them are 64 by 64 some of them are 128 but I'm not going to go into that 64 by 64 there it's all aligned if you try and do it without a grid it'll take you hours to align properly just use the grid and you'll be doing it in seconds if you get this where you go hey look oh no it's not it's not aligned yeah all you have to do is just move it along a bit <sighs> change the grid com the grid size to 64 by 64 and it'll work every time yeah, that's all you need to know the same so why would you actually want to do this method well it's neater and it helps you to make your map if you have a problem it's a lot easier to fix and it's a lot easier to fix everything together i'm, I'm going to stray slightly into optim optimization here i tell people to make skyboxes the messy way where you get a skybox, make a big block around your level and make it hollow and it works. And yeah, it, it's great. It'll work with every level. The proper way of doing it is where you, oh, well, you kind of align it like this, along like this, and you, you make a wall around the whole of your level. Whoops. Like this. That is how you're meant to do the skybox. So you can't fall off the side. Uh, the reason for doing this it's because if, you, if you're making a complicated level, by doing this, it helps the computer to understand what you can see from different points. So say there's a crate here. If you run around to the other side of the house, you can't see the crate. But the computer doesn't know that if you've made the skybox messily, so it'll still render the crate. That doesn't matter in small levels. If you're making a big complicated level, it is important because it'll slow down your computer because it's trying to render the whole world at once. Uh, by doing skyboxes like this it helps the computer to decide what you can see from different points I'm not going to go into optimization much there are different things you can do to help the computer with optimization such as putting hints in I'm not going to go into it at the moment because it's really hard to explain on YouTube so the, the short message of this tutorial is to use the grids because they're really helpful and it helps your maps be a lot tidier so here's the tidy one and here's the messy one they overlap they don't line up to the grid properly it makes it really hard if you're making a level and if you send it off to someone going help this level doesn't work ah oh. if you make the whole level in that messy way you're better off just starting again that's the simple truth of it you do it do it tidily and it's nice and easy to fix and it looks nice as well so there there's my boring tutorial on grids it is important to do Thanks for listening and have fun making well-aligned levels. The sizes of the things you want are 
1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 156, 512, 1024, 2048, 4096, 8192, 16,384, 32,768, 65,100 something. So there. Because they're all 2 to the power of something, and that's how the grids work. If you go down to the bottom, if you go down to the um, the most accurate grid, it is one by one. If you double it, it'll go to two by two. Press the grid button again, it will go four by four. And these numbers are nice. I recommend using one for glass, but that glass doesn't need to align with the rest level really because it it fills up a hole anyway. Uh, it creates a sixty-four by sixty-four. I normally use walls with a with a width of sixteen. Um, yeah, and walls are normally 128 high some of the rock and concrete textures are 256 that's all you need to know have fun making levels and aligning them properly bye